friends, welcome to another Muscoot Farm story time. My name is Mary and uh, today I'll be reading Cows Can Moo, Can You? All About Farms by Bonnie Worth. It's a Cat in the Hat learning library book. And we're reading today in the pasture where we have our uh, some of our dairy cattle and hopefully they'll enjoy it too. Here we go. Spring has sprung, my friends. Come along, grab an arm. Let me take you to tour the green bean family's farm. The sun's barely up. And what do you know? The house lights are on with the rooster's first crow. There's Dean, Jean, Mr. Green Bean, baby Irene, and Mrs. Green Bean. The rooster stretches his neck and says, cock-a-doodle-doo. Does that sound like the way your day begins too? In the dairy parlor, the younger green beans are connecting the cows to the milking machines. Moo, moo. The machines go chuff, chuff, and the cows go moo, moo. They clean udders beforehand and when they are through. Feeding the chickens is not at all hard. Just spread grains and seeds all over the yard. Nothing moves like a chicken or talks like one talks. Its claw goes scritch, scritch, and its beak goes pock, pock, pock. In the sheep fold, Mr. Greenbean shears the sheep's belly fleece, then he shaves off the rest in one big neat piece. Mr. Greenbean tries to be gentle and quick to never pinch skin, or to hurt, or to nick. Ba ba. Most sheep sound alike. The lamb, ram, and you. They all go ba ba, and have woolly fleece too. Mrs. Greenbean places the wool on a table, and pulls out the tags as much as she's able. The tags are wool from the belly and the back, too dirty to use, so they're tossed in a sack. Next, she washes and dries it and cards out the knot, knots. This task takes some time because knots, there are lots. Then she spins the wool into a thick yarn. That's what she uses to knit green bean mittens and hats. In the truck garden's tiny in the truck garden's tidy vegetable beds are lettuce and kale with tiny green heads. Underground carrots sprout. They are actually roots. Above ground, the pole beans put out their first shoots. Dean's hoe digs for weeds and it scratch scratch scratches. The scarecrow is dressed in an outfit that matches. With tractor and tiller, Mr. Greenbean needs to ready the soil for the planting of seeds. Then Greenbean hitches up the manure spreader to fertilize the soil to make it richer and better. Suddenly there comes a loud banging crunch. The bent tractor axle would be my best hunch. But Mr. Greenbean, being smarter than smart, calls the tractor shop to get a new part. With axle in place, all shiny and new, there is one more thing the green bean must, Mr. Greenbean must do. He'll hook up the planter because, as he'll show, it will spit out the seeds in a nice even row. There goes the planter. Spit, 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 spit. It does the job quick, and it is neat about it. You leave and come back on a dry summer's day when it's time for the green beans to bring in the hay. The sickle mower cuts down the field of tall hay. Then it's left out to dry for at least one more day. The, the hay rake swish swishes and it goes to and fro to gather the hay into piles like so. This long pile of hay as all good farmers know, goes by a name. It is called a windrow. 
Here comes the baler with a loud rumbling roar, packing hay into bales that are easier to store. Rumble, vroom, vroom. Vroom, vroom goes the skid steer as sister and brother stack up the bales, one on top of another. Everything's green and growing quite well till midsummer comes and brings a dry spell. This means the green beans must now irrigate. They soak the dry soil after dark when it's late. Like a big garden sprinkler, the irrigator whips around and waters the crops with a whap, whapping sound. Come fall, we return for the harvest and reaping, a date we have all looked forward to keeping. The, com the combine does two of the harvesting jobs. It cuts down corn stalks and cuts kernels off cobs. The auger picks up the kernels like so and shoots them off into a tall grain silo. Rat-a-tat-tat. -tat. The kernels rain down with a rat-a-tat-tat. -tat. They fill up the silo in no time like that. Let's check out the garden. The time, how it's flown. See how the veggies have ripened and grown? Dug out of the earth or plucked from the vine, the green beans garden harvest was never so fine. Let's load up the trucks. We must not delay. Ford, didn't you know? It's green market day. As market day ends, the fond memories linger. The green beans are too tired to lift even a finger. Their noses sniff, sniff. Smells great. What is that? A farm fresh meal from the cat in the hat. Mmm. The end. So I hope you learned something from this book that farming is a lot of work. So thank you for joining us. Thanks for enjoying the cows on this summer day. And uh, we hope to see you soon at Muscoot. Bye.